Oh, wow, that was awesome. But yeah, it makes for a good... There's one. There we go. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a lot better than the one we just lost. What am I talking about? What is going on, everybody? Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I am on a week long trip to Table Rock Lake. We are in Missouri right now. Don't ask me which city because I have no idea. I am not the chaperone of this trip. I am third party kicking back, relaxing, forgetting where the hell I am. But yes, I am at the world famous Table Rock Lake. This lake is absolutely beautiful. I have never been to anything like it. By far the biggest body of water I've ever been on. Uh, the water is so clean and I'm being told right now that it's not very clean and I can still see like six feet down in some spots, especially when that sun's real high. I mean, you can just see straight down. It is so beautiful. And today we're basically just gonna be trolling these shorelines. I'm in a cove right now. I can turn around and show you guys, but you can probably see behind me, there's probably a boat dock. Yeah, a boat dock back there and there's tons more of them out in front of me. And I'm just fishing these stretches of woods and these, these trees in the water. There's kind of like, this is a lot different than Omaha. It's like bushy and lots of trees right up on shore. I've got my frog rigged up on a Shimano SLX. This is, I mean, just a fantastic all around reel. I think it costs hundred bucks, I believe. This is a 7.2, I believe. Yes, yeah, 7.2, medium heavy, Shields rod, love Shields rods. 50 pound Power Pro braid going straight to my frog and yeah, that's it. Let's get to popping and let's have some fun. There's one, there's one. Oh, he spit it. Not very big. Damn. It really seems like when you're back home in Nebraska, it seems like you can kinda, I don't know, it sounds weird, but I feel like you can be a little, I don't know if sloppy is the right word with your casts, like either that or I just know it like the back of my hand and I just, cast to the right spots but it seems like here you kind of have to be like super accurate and really make your casts count which I'm not very good at apparently but yeah it makes for a good challenge I think it's but yeah it makes for a good there's one there we go that's a little bit better that's a little bit better than that one we just lost Oh, that's a lot better than the one we just lost. What am I talking about? Come here, buddy, come here. I know, I know, I know. Oh, that's a nice one. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Oh, yes. Yes. What a great fish. Yoked that lunker hunt frog. That's what that is. That's a lunker hunt popping frog. Look at the little... Look at the black on his fin there. I don't know how well you can see that. My camera's on top of my head, but super warm. What a beautiful fish. Two and a half pounder, maybe. Oh, wow. It's a little bit bigger than I thought. That's a three freaking pounder on the dot. Great fish. Okay. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And that's exactly how we drew it up right there. There we go. Oh my God, that was insane. I didn't even see him bite. What the hell was that? Oh, he spit it right there. I just looked over and all of a sudden it was in his mouth. I think I need to back up. He ate that way out here. I think I need to be careful with how far I'm going in there. Holy cow, that was another good fish right there. Got him. 
Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. About time. Shoot, and I said I wasn't even going to fish this stretch. And look at me now. Come here. Come here, baby. Oh, it's a better fish than I thought. It's not, not as, quite as big as that uh, first one we caught. That's another nice fish. Don't even, oh, dude, that's the... I swear, that's the one thing about kayak fishing is you get absolutely soaked because of that. Uh, not a bad fish. Pounder, pound and a half probably. He's long. A lot of these fish are pretty long and skinny. That lunker hunt frog again. This is actually uh, one eye willy. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like he got hooked in the eye probably. Another beautiful fish. Look at the scenery. Thanks, buddy. I swear I'm gonna need a new phone by the end of this trip. Getting it soaked on this damn kayak. I should probably stop bringing it with me. But what if I need to take pictures? I think that's a fish over there dead. Yeah, it looks like there's a huge dead fish over there. I'm pretty sure that's a pike. I didn't even know there were pike in here and it looks pretty pretty big oh no it's a it's a long nose gar look at that you see that thing oh it's not huge but that's a big old long nose for sure cool I thought it was a pike I saw the spots on the back of his tail and I was like oh it's a pike but it's a gar I'm looking for another big aggressive one like that three pounder. He actually is like the only one that's really cracked my frog today. There we go. Oh, he cracked it. <laughs> he cracked it. And he's the smallest one of the day, that is. Come here, Billy. I'm gonna sling him so he don't get us all wet. Not bad. I was just talking about how this frog hasn't really been getting demolished. And he demolished it. Smallest one so far. Maybe not even a pounder, that guy. I love when I do that. I just start saying something stupid and then it happens. All right guys, so I wasn't really planning on making this a two-part video, but I decided with the day I had yesterday morning and the day I'm about to have today, hopefully, that I'll make it a little bit of a two-part video. I am on vacation, so you know, you gotta spend a little bit of time with the family. I get about a couple hours every morning to fish and the afternoons haven't been that great for me, so I haven't really been fishing them. I've just been kind of spending some more time uh, hanging out with the family, but we are back on it today. I have got some new intelligence. A nice man named Mike, shout out to you Mike, gave me a couple of these shaky head hooks and some very strange creature baits. I got some extra craws and stuff we can use if we run out of these. I only got two of these, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give this a shot. I'm not really sure what's supposed to happen. He was telling me fish deep, 18 to 20 feet, so we're gonna be casting this up to the bank and pulling it back, and I have no idea. Small mouth, that's the idea I have. Small mouth, that's the goal. If we see a smallie or a spot come up today, we'll be happy. Anyway, let's go have some fun. I got high hopes. The morning's out here incredible. Every single morning, just looking at these big mountain hill things with nice, pretty green trees on them and Pretty lake water. Not many people out boating yet. It's pretty surreal. Oh my goodness. I couldn't get my camera on. I was snagged. And I was trying to pull it off a snag and all of a sudden something grabbed it. And it feels pretty nice. Oh shoot. It's coming up, coming up. Large mouth, nice large mouth. Really nice large mouth. Oh shoot, really nice largey. Oh my gosh, back my drag off. Oh yeah, that's a three. That's a nice three right there. 
Come here, baby. Come here, baby. I got gotcha. you. Oh, what a chunk. <laughs> Look at that. Mike's lure right in the right in the snout. Thank you, Mike. What a chunker. Dude. Look at the belly on old Gertha right there. <laughs> oh, I don't think we need to put her on the scale. It's about a three pounder or so. I would say. I think we can just go ahead and tuck her back. Even though that's a really nice one, we're still looking to do better. Go on. See ya. <laughs> well, that was something else. I was freaking snagged. I was popping it off and then I, I pulled on it, tried to pull my kayak towards it so I could get on the other side and try and pop it off. And uh, all of a sudden it pulled back. Now it's probably a three pounder, maybe. Which means we can fish off the dock. There's one. There's one. Good fish. Coming up. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Oh, it's a spot, I think. Yes, sir, right in front of the dock. I was just about to go in. Oh, yes. That is a table rock spotted bass right there. Not a huge one, I don't think, but pound and a half or maybe. Awesome fish. And I think that is what we will end it. Oh. <laughs> well, I took the kayak out of the water, hopped up here on the dock. This is the same dock that I've been fishing in front of and caught that last spotted bass in front of. But yeah, I took the kayak out of the water, hopped here on the dock, just trying to catch a couple more fish before my morning's over. But for my first time out here on Table Rock Lake, I had a few days to figure it out, and the last couple days did really well for me. Caught lots of nice fish, lots of nice large mouth. Wish we would have ran into a small mouth, never did. But we did catch some spotted bass. I think you guys might see at least one or two of those. And I've caught a few more, nothing really big, but it was really cool to see some spotted bass. You know, we don't have those back in Nebraska. So always cool to see that. Some, some newer species, I've caught a few in my time, but not very many. Overall, just a great trip. Uh, couldn't have asked for any better. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. They say congratulations. But I have Look how beautiful it is out here. I don't know why a popper. Oh shit. Shut it down. I We're gonna have to go get this one. They say congratulations. But I that's what would happen. I don't know why they always hate. There we go. Oh my god. That was insane. I didn't even see him bite. What the hell was that? Yes!